Again, I'm going to try to make distinctions uh, as to what I think makes my work relevant. I'm going to have some of my uh, participants sit in front of the camera here, sit in front of my Mac and my phone photo booth and uh, talk to you about what has changed for them and why they continue to do work with me. Uh, but we've been talking a lot about Maui. I'm going to do a month long on Maui, which, ooh, imagine a month long with Mick. Holy um, cow. Yeah. But on Maui, there's a Dharma Center in Paia, which my wife and I have been closely associated with for years. And when we went there, uh, it must be seven or eight years ago, there was a new Lama. The Lama Tenzin from Tibet had passed away. He had married us and blessed all the kids. And Lydia was uh, two or three years old and hadn't been blessed yet. And the new Lama was, uh, had arrived from India. And we were doing a blessing ceremony for... Lydia, and if you don't know about, well, even if you do know about uh, Buddhist ceremonies, they use rice and water, and Lydia's sitting in front of the temple, and Lama's doing his prayers, and he sprinkles her with water, and she's two years old, he sprinkles, and he goes, she starts looking around the Dharma Center for what has happened, and then he continues with his prayers, and he sprinkles her again, and she looks up, and she goes, hey, stop that! <laughs> Well, he got laughing so hard. We had, it took us about another five minutes before we could continue the blessing, because he just he was so tickled by what she had said to him. Uh, we went outside, and there was a young lady uh, who I'd noticed when we were in the prayers in the morning, who was studying with Lama, and we got talking. She got looking at the kids, and and uh, the kids were all playing out in the yard. And she said, uh, "Boy, I want one of those one day." And I said, "Well, you know." If there's anything I can do to help, do let me know. And my wife is standing on the other side of her, and this woman is kind of horrified. And she looks at Nicole, and she said, do you, Did you hear what he just said to me? And Nicole said, Well, yeah, he offers everybody. <laughs> and the woman said, And you're just laughing about it. She said, Well, it happens all the time. You know, what am I going to do about it? But she said, You know, mister, I don't know who you are. She said, But since you've gotten here, because the Lama was, had not been in Maui long from India and it was a, quite an adjustment uh, elevation, heat, everything and so he wasn't that pleased with being there I guess but this woman said you know mister I'm not sure who you are but Lama is happier since you've been here and I thought wow wow my family and I and our technology we can, infect, we can impact uh, Lamas, Buddhist monks who've been studying for years uh, a couple of nights later he came over for dinner and he said to me he said uh, you have seven children I said I have six that I know of and he said well you have seven and I said well maybe you know something I don't know and he said well he said I'm your oldest son and I said hey that's totally cool you've already gone to college right <laughs> you know because I didn't uh, that's I was just kidding with him too but uh, uh, so I guess we have seven children we have a llama uh, which is that's one a one L llama and you know a 2L Lama is a Himalayan beast of burden, and a 3L Lama is a, a hell of a fire, actually. Uh, so, anyway, I, that story came up this weekend, so I thought I would pass it on to you and see if it uh, shifts anything for you. Have a fun day.